Hello everyone and welcome to another What's for Dinner on Weight Watchers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the meals we had for dinner this week on Weight Watchers, as well as giving you points, calories, and macros for these meals. But be sure to check down below where you will find the full list of instructions, ingredients. You'll also find recipe builder links and some additional nutritional info. All that will be down in the description box below. But if I have done a previous full video on one of these recipes before, I will have a link to that video where you will find all that info as well. But just check down that description box for any info that you're needing on these meals. And let's jump in and see what we had for dinner this week. First up is pizza pasta bake. I love this one. It's a very family friendly, kiddo friendly one. And if you're like me where you're only wanting to cook once and not second time for your kid this is a great one so this starts with getting some whole wheat spaghetti boiling and i just cooked that to al dente and then over here in a large pan i'm gonna get my 93 percent lean ground turkey cooking now if you want to use a 99 percent lean for zero points you absolutely can this stuff i'm using carries 17 points so to that i'm going to add in some chopped up bell pepper and red onion, and then a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. And then I'm gonna cook all of that together until those veggies have mostly softened and that turkey is almost all the way cooked through. At that point, I'm gonna add in some mushrooms and let those cook until they're softened. And the reason I add the mushrooms in later is just because they cook a whole lot faster than the peppers and onions do. So once those mushrooms are softened, I'm gonna add in some marinara sauce. This is the stuff that I make all the time. I'm always showing, I will have a link for it up above and down below. If you haven't seen it, you can check that out. It was a recipe that I found on the Weight Watcher app actually for marinara sauce and I use it all the time for lots of different things. So I'm going to then add in some oregano and basil. I'm gonna stir all of that together and I'm gonna just let that kind of continue to simmer while I work on the rest of this. Once my pasta is al dente, I'm gonna drain it and add it back to my pot. And I'm gonna add in some slightly beaten egg and some Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna stir all of that together really well until it's all incorporated. And then in a 13 by nine inch pan, I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray and pour in my noodles. Then I'm gonna take those noodles and kind of just press them down as evenly as I can into the bottom of my casserole dish. And you do wanna get them kind of compacted because they are gonna form your quote unquote crust for this. So once you've got that in there, you're gonna add some part skin ricotta to the top and you're gonna smooth that on as evenly as possible. And then you're gonna take your meat sauce and ladle that on the top and then just kind of spread that out as evenly as you can. Next up, I'm gonna take some part skim mozzarella and spread that out evenly on top, as well as some more Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna spread that out on top. And then this is kind of optional, but I'd love to put this turkey pepperoni on the top of mine. I only used two points worth, but that two points does unfortunately bump this up to an additional point per serving. So if you wanna leave that off, you can shave a point off of this, but I definitely think it's worth the extra point a serving. So you're gonna bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes uncovered until it looks like this. And here is dinner. I've got a serving of that pizza pasta bake, which is a 12th of the total, and it is nine points. This one's a little higher than a lot of things I make, but I definitely think it's worth it because it is very, very good. Along with it, we are just having a little bit of a salad. This is a Taylor Farms salad kit, the Southwest one, I believe, or salsa ranch chop kit. So I'm having a serving of this, which is a cup. Typically I only use about half of the things that you add to it, so the dressing, and in this case, cheese and uh, tortilla strips or chips. Um, but this salad was only three points per serving. So I ended up using a serving size worth of the toppings for that as well, just because the points were still low. So the salad was three points and the pizza pasta bake was nine, which made dinner total for tonight 12 points. 
Next up, we had some grilled T-bone steaks with a couple sides. We don't do steak a lot, mainly because it's fairly expensive, especially ones like T-bones, but we got these on sale. The other reason is they're pretty high in points, but very, very good. So every once in a while, we will do them. So I'm just gonna trim off some of the fat. These are T-bones, we should say. I guess that's yeah, fairly obvious. fairly obvious, I think. I am not a uh, master knife wielder, in case anybody's critiquing me right now. <laughs> it's a fillet knife, right? Yeah. I'm filleting it, Yeah. technically. So that'll cut down on the points to take that off, because I think I'm going to be factoring this out as a uh, lean. Yeah, so I don't go chasing all the fat, like I'm going to yeah. that on there. Or trimmed, I think is what it's called, trimmed T-bone. Rocky, Rocky. Okay, so let me wash my hands because I don't want to contaminate the salt and pepper. I had originally bought different steaks for this week and I ended up freezing those and then we found these on a, deal. on a deal. So we're doing them instead and we'll do the other ones later. Did you want uh, ground cumin too? I forgot yeah. about that. I haven't done that in a bit. We're just keeping it super simple, like yeah. we usually do. That's it. The good thing about cooking steaks is we like it raw, so I don't even have to check the temperature on them. <laughs> True. So high heat, six minutes. It usually gets it nice and rare, like we like it. As I always say, it's still mooing. All right, so six minutes on the one side, or six minutes total? Total, so what I do is I do a minute 30, I rotate them for a minute 30, I flip them, then a minute 30, rotate them, minute 30, pull them. And that gives them the real marks? Yeah. Okay. All right. And it's high heat, and it's not critical, because I, I cook them the same on anybody's grill, like I do the same at mom's, mm -hmm. and they come out fine. So, But you have to like them rare. I struggle when somebody muts them, like... Well done. Medium well. Or even well done. I've, you've had people want them well done before. Yeah, I mean, that one's easy. You just cook the cook snot the out of Cook it forever? All so, right. Uh, but yeah, this is real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's it's the rotating that gives it the grill marks. Just like Sizzler, baby. It is a Sizzler. Yummy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut into this. Maybe a little, maybe a little early, but how can you wait? You know. I know. Smells really good. I'm hungry. Not the best knife. No, that's. That knife's a little lacking in the sharp department. Okay. You just cut. There we go. Get in there. Nice and. I'm gonna cut across. Okay. Moist. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's real juicy. Juicy. That was the word I was looking for, not moist. Actually, you overcooked it to our standards. Yeah, a little bit more done than what we like. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Look at Rocky over there. You like him? You can give it to me. All right, I'll go ahead and show you what else we're having. I have got three ounces of that T-bone, and again, I factored it in as trimmed, because we, trim, trimmed because we trimmed the fat off of it. So that is gonna be seven points, a little high, but you know, totally, totally worth it, <laughs> exactly. And then we're having some broccoli, that's just frozen broccoli that I steamed and then here is some Uncle Ben's, what is that called again? 
long grain and wild with herbs and seasoning. That smells really good too. So I only have a half a cup there. A serving is a cup, but I can't remember the points if it was six or seven for a cup. So it was six for a cup. So I cut it in half and just did a half cup for three points. So zero for the broccoli, three points for the rice, seven points for the steak is going to make dinner total for tonight 10 points. Next up was a new twist on one of my favorite recipes, and that is egg roll in a bowl. I absolutely love egg roll in a bowl. It's low point, low calories, low carb, all that good stuff, but it has a ton of flavor. So I wanted to do a soup version of it, and that is what this is. This starts with a large pot, and to that I'm gonna add in a pound of lean ground turkey. Again, I'm using 93% lean. I'm gonna pepper that a little bit, and then I'm gonna cook this until it is browned. And I've got that on medium, medium high heat right now. Once my turkey is brown, I'm gonna add in some minced garlic and a little bit of ginger. Now I'm using ground ginger. Fresh is best, I find, in this. Well, the regular egg roll in a bowl, I like to use fresh, um, but I, Thought I had some on hand, I did not. So I just went ahead and added in some ground ginger. If you're using fresh, you wanna use about two teaspoons. I used a quarter teaspoon of the dry ground. So then next up, I'm gonna add in some sesame oil and then some chopped carrots and chopped onion. I'm gonna stir all that together and let that continue to cook until those veggies have mostly softened. At that point, I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. I'm using low sodium soy sauce. And then some chicken broth. And then finally, some chopped up cabbage. Now this is a whole head of cabbage. It is about eight cups, so quite a bit of cabbage in there. Then I'm gonna add in some green onions. That's a whole bunch that I've chopped up. I'm gonna stir all of that together really well. And then I'm gonna put the lid on this, lower the heat, and just kind of let this simmer in there for, it took mine about 25 minutes. You wanna simmer it until that cabbage has softened up nicely. And here it is done. All right, I measured this out, got just about 14 cups total. So I divided it into eight servings of one and three quarter cups, which is what I've got here. And that is just three points. So I'll have my heavy give it a try. See what he thinks. Because we love the egg roll in a bowl, just a normal version. And I will have that link down below. If you want to check that one out. It's still hot. Yeah, I mean, that. That's almost indistinguishable from the egg roll in a bowl, mm -hmm. non-soup version. Taste-wise? Yeah, taste-wise, it's really good. Um, to be honest with you, the egg roll in a bowl sometimes suffers from lack of moisture, especially when it's been reheated. Mm -hmm. You know, so obviously that's not going to be the case here. The chicken broth, which I assume does not go in egg roll in a bowl. No, there's um, no liquids really in there. Adds a nice. Um, a little bit of a different flavor. Probably a little more flavor. Mm hmm Honestly. You know, you, you can tell there's a little difference in that, and that's gonna be what that is. I can definitely taste the broth, which is pleasant. So. And for the points, that can't be beat, which is one of the benefits of the egg traditional roll. egg roll. Yeah, because yeah. it's real low in points too, and it's mm -hmm. low carb and all that good stuff, as is yeah. this, but. Yeah, I just, you know, I love the regular one, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of put a little bit of a twist on it, especially now that we're in winter and... Yeah, I was going to say, this has a much, it's, it's more, it's appropriate for a different season. Yeah, it's more winter. Yeah. In a or soup if it's form. rainy. Yeah, exactly. Cold weather food. Gives more of a comfort food uh, twist, I guess, to it, so... Yeah. All right, well, that was egg roll and bowl soup. Like I said, I will have the regular version linked down below as well so you can check that out if you haven't seen that already it's very good too 
but three points for dinner. This is all we're having is just the soup tonight. So three points for dinner tonight. That was everything we had for dinner this week on Weight Watchers. If any of these recipes look good to you, be sure to check down in that description box below for all the info that you are going to be wanting. But as always, I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.